Well hello there folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope that I find you very well indeed. And tonight, well, last night for tea, this is last night's tea, I made this wonderful cream of chicken soup in the slow cooker and I'm calling it chicken and vegetable because I've added sweet corn and also some cauliflower and some onions and yeah, it was just wonderful. It's so delicious and perfect for this time of year. So, so easy to make and much nicer than anything you'll find in a can. So this is everything that I used here. I've got a two and a half litre crock pot and you'll get a good five to six servings out of this, well, five or six adults. Obviously, if you've got wee ones, you know, kids, you'll get more out of it. But yeah, serve this with some warm, crusty bread and it's a meal in itself. If you want it a wee bit thicker, you know, it's going to turn into more of a stew. So I didn't make mine too thick, but you can make yours as thick as you like. This is the seasoning that I used here and also the stock cubes that I use. So this is my slow cooker. First thing I'm going to do is throw in my chicken followed by the onion and then a couple of ribs of celery and then a small head of cauliflower. Everything's just chopped up quite small and then some sweet corn and then garlic and then seasoning. I mean you can add or take away you know whatever you do and don't like. This is just what I've used. Two pints of chicken stock or you could use vegetable stock if you prefer and then also a pint of water because you don't want it too strong. Give that a wee stir together and then you want to pop your lid on. So we're going to give this three hours just cooking away on the high and then we're going to come back and add some more bits and bobs. So after three hours come back and this is what you should have. The smell was lovely as well. Give it a wee poke around and a stir. And then we're going to combine our milk. So this is whole milk and I'm going to add two tablespoons of corn flour. Give those a good mix together. I just use a fork. And I'm just going to add this to the slow cooker at both ends. Give it a quick whisk in with a fork and this is going to thicken up your soup a good bit. But like I said, if you do like a really thick soup, add in more corn flour. So give it another hour on high. Give it a wee stir. I didn't show you that, but yeah, do give it a wee stir. And then for the last wee while, you can pop in your cream. So I'm using double cream and then give it another wee stir. Just give it about another 15, 20 minutes just to warm through with the cream. And yeah, and that's it done. I mean, how easy was that? And that is just how thick I wanted it. Now, if you do this, you know, the day before and leave it, it will be even thicker. But if you want it thicker on the night, like I said, just pop in some more corn flour and that will thicken it up. Yeah, but absolutely delicious with a few croutons on the top. And we had ours with some toasties and a few crisps. But honestly, a bit of, cr you know, crusty bread with that would have just been wonderful. And a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on Patreon and to the channel members here as well so thank you ever so much guys and thank you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those who share the videos it's much appreciated so I'll catch you during the week with another week shopping haul unboxing or back on Sunday for meals of the week because I know so many of you like to watch those videos and I love making them as well and if you're not following me over on Instagram yet I'm what's for t3 over there and it would be lovely to see more of you obviously I post pictures and videos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube. So whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your week, fantastic rest of your day and from our wee humble kitchen in Scotland to yours, wherever you are, lots of love, take care and bye for now. Bye now.